and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the verse in Surah Al-Hashr. وَيُؤْثِرُونَ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ وَلَوْ كَانَ بِهِمْ خَصَاصَةً وَمَنْ يُوْقَ شُحَ نَفْسِهِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ And they give preference over themselves even though they are in need and whoever is protected from the stinginess of his soul it is those who will be successful they have preferred the satisfaction of their guest stomach over the satisfaction of their own stomachs they have prioritized the happiness of their Muslim companion over their happiness, over the happiness of their own family members, even though their family members may have been blessed with a different kind of happiness, which is higher and greater. Aisha radiallahu anha did not forget the situation of a woman from the Ansar who came and cried with her during the trial in the incident of the slender. Aisha radiallahu anha said, while my parents were sitting with me and I was crying, a woman from the Ansar sought permission to enter and I granted her permission. She sat and cried with me. This is a simple situation in our eyes, but it is great and significant in the hearts of the noble ones who appreciates people's situations and actions towards them. Al Qasimi, rahimahullah ta'ala, said, Brotherhood has a right in fulfilling needs and taking care of them before asking and prioritizing them over personal needs. And this is also, this also ha is in the Greece. The lowest of which is fulfilling the need when asked and able to do so, but with a smile, cheerfulness, showing joy and accepting the favor. Some of them said, if you ask your brother for a need and he did not fulfill it, remind him a second time. Perhaps he has forgotten. If he still did not fulfill it, then say takbir and recite the verse. وَالْمَوْتَى يَبْعَثُهُمُ Allah. And indeed, and the dead, Allah will resurrect them. Among the priors, among the predecessors, there were those who will visit their family, the families of their brother and his children after his death for 40 years, fulfilling their needs and visiting them every day. And he would, he would provide for them from his own wealth. They would not miss anything from their father except his physical presence. Rather, they would see from them what they did not see from their father during his lifetime. That is what even their father did not give to them. Because of that brotherhood, the companion would visit them and he would give it to them. That is what they cannot even get from their own father. But because of that brotherhood, extending joy to the Muslim. He will give it to them and make them happy. May Allah count as one of them. One of them frequently goes to his brother's door to fulfill his needs without his brother's knowledge. And thus, compassion becomes evident. Brotherhood is not fruitful if it does not produce compassion. Where one cares for his brother as he cares for himself. In our reality, the reverse is the case. You will see calamities and challenges. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us forgiveness. Brothers of Islam, 
Indeed, among the ways to bring joy to Muslims is to support them in the, tr in the truth, to repel injustice from them, to intercede for them in their affairs, to fulfill their needs, and to strive for their interests. <coughs> and all of this, all of these, are among the most beloved deeds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Abu Dada radiallahu anhu reported that he asked the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which action is the best. He said, that is the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, faith in Allah and jihad in his cause. I said, which slaves are the best? He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the most expensive and the most precious to their owners. I said, what if I cannot do that? He said, help a worker or do a work for a disabled person. I said, what if I cannot do that? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, refrain from harming people. For it is a charity by which you protect yourself. This hadith is in Sahih Bukhari and Muslim. And it is strange that you find someone who excels in causing sadness to Muslims, whether near or far. His wife, his child, father, mother and brother and friend, all of them are the same to that person. All of them are the same to that person. And he does not hesitate to sadden them, to make them cry, to suppress them with grief and pain. Not to mention what some of them suffer from injustice and disobedience. Perhaps this person, with his hard heart and dry nature, has not heard the hadith narrated by a Tabani with a good chain of narration from Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu saying that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that a man, Ibn Umar said, that a man came to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, O Messenger of Allah, who are the most beloved people to Allah, and which deeds are the most beloved to Allah. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the most beloved people to Allah are those who are most beneficial to the people. And the most beloved deeds to Allah are bringing happiness to a Muslim, relieving him his distress, paying off his debt, and warding off hunger from him. And to walk with a brother in need is more beloved to me than secluding myself in the mocks for a month. That is the mocks of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And whoever suppresses his anger, Allah will cover his faults. And whoever suppresses his way, even though he could fulfill it if he wished, Allah will fulfill his, fill his heart with hope on the day of resurrection. And whoever walks with his brother in need until he helps him, Allah will make his feet firm on the day when feet will sleep. And whenever a person's charity to others increases, their happiness increases. And whoever dedicates his life to the benefit of others and their happiness, they are among the happiest and the most content people.
It is important to listen to the statements by the Imam because they are expected to be written with the Dima al-Dhahab. The best of people is a man who fulfills the needs of others. Do not prevent doing good to anyone as long as you are capable for happiness is multiplied. And be grateful for the virtues of Allah when they are bestowed upon you. Not for you, for your own sake, but for the needs of others. I take it again. Be grateful for the virtues of Allah when they are bestowed upon you. Not for you, for your own sake. Not for your own sake, but for the needs of others. Some people die, but their noble qualities never die. Some people die, but their noble qualities never die. And some people live, but they are dead. They are among the dead. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to use us in fulfilling the needs of Muslims and to make us keys to goodness and locks to evil. Subhanakallah, alhamdik, shalom Allah, ilaha illa anta, astaghfirullah, atubilin.